I'd like to highlight a few lessons learned or big themes um, that I see in transportation research. Data is a big one. Now, if you look at Google Maps of Portland, you can see every link on the transportation network populated with a color. There are uh, thousands or more uh, moving sensors, basically mobile phones that are uh, ping being pinged and pinging cell towers. We have envisioned a future that is partly already here, that we're monitoring uh, and uh, logging the position of vehicles on the transportation network all the time. The trick is, how are we going to use these data? How are we going to partner between universities and public agencies and the private sector to make useful products for people? Is every region going to have their own data owner? Um, is Google going to own the data for us uh, or some other, you know, Amazon? We need your brains uh, and others to help figure out how this is going to work in the future. Are we going to let the private sector just do it all or are we going to re retain a, an academic or government agency uh, role in this? I've also become even more of an advocate for collecting more data. Three data sets from NGSIM have been used and have been cited hundreds and hundreds of times in Google Scholar, so they're informing the development of models. So I would, uh, I'm an advocate of, of being more proactive in, in collecting the data that we need to improve the models that we use for transportation. It's an opportunity for us to come up with clever ways to actually develop performance measures that can help states and regions and cities uh, understand how the transportation system is operating. All students who graduate in transportation engineering and transportation planning can do mobility benefits. We are so comfortable with our mobility benefits that we use the outputs of travel models that are looking at mobility and we spit out the, 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 the externality impacts based on the mobility impacts and the, the equations are totally different. So we need to become better at producing uh, performance measures related to the externalities of transportation and get beyond the very, very simple fundamental measurements uh, such as uh, speed and flow. But in the areas that I'm interested in, the sustainability areas, um, we need to make some, some, some more strides. Out in the Netherlands, they have a very dense uh, highway network, and so there are a lot of alternate routes. You could come up with all kinds of uh, routing, you may want to choose as a user of the system the quietest or most reliable or least energy consuming or the most scenic um, or the safest route. If we can do better in uh, performance measurement, uh, data-driven performance measurement, there are real applications that users of the transportation system may want to uh, adopt. Is We need to be better at understanding how our objectives for transportation are, are uh, impacting the total benefits and we need to be more explicit about when we're talking about transportation uh, as a goal versus the externalities of transportation. So many people talk about the goal is to reduce congestion but congestion is an externality of transportation and so that's sort of going after an effect rather than going after a cause. If we optimize the system for safety, what happens to mobility, what happens to noise, what happens to emissions? Another lesson learned is you get what you measure. If we're talking about people's travel on the transportation network, we have to think about the whole trip. Almost no driving during the year that I was there. I, I think I rode in automobiles maybe two or three times. And I really was walking, biking, taking the train, trams, and a uh, few times taking the buses. Here we tend to focus a lot on what's happening on the highest speed portion of a trip. That everyone starts every trip and ends every trip as a pedestrian. And so thinking about uh, the commonalities that we share, no matter how we travel for whatever purpose, um, is very important in my mind.